Are you trying to get healthier, but you know that you've got a long way to go? You're just not there yet. Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt, and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory challenges, and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids, and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a retired special ed teacher, I know that changing behaviors sometimes means that you have to come at it from a different angle. And I know that you know that you need to eat better especially if you have any inflammation or obesity or Alzheimer's or what have you, high blood pressure, whatever, you know you need to eat better. But you also know that that's easier said than done. Now, did you catch my video a few days ago on mushrooms? I was talking about inflammation and I'm talking about how mushrooms are a superfood when it comes to fighting inflammation. So if you didn't catch that video, you can find it on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page. Keep your brain sharp and check that out. But right now I wanted to talk to you, especially if you need to kind of learn about some other ways you can fight inflammation besides nutrition, because you know your nutrition is not yet on point. And fortunately, there are other things you can do as well. So while you're working on your nutrition, you might try these things. Today, I wanna to talk about de-stressing, chilling out, calming down. Sounds like an easy thing to do, and I'm sure that we all would think, yeah, I know about de-stressing. But some of us are either not doing it enough or you're doing the wrong kind of things. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about doing the self-medication type of stuff to de-stress and chill out. No, I'm talking about a healthier way. So, also, I'm not talking about the mental health day that you take when you just can't stand it anymore and you got to have a day off. I'm not talking about the special treat you give yourself because you deserve it. And I'm not talking about when you count to 10 before you hit somebody upside the head. Now, those things have their place. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do those things because there are times when you really should do those things. But that's not the kind of de-stressing that I'm going to talk about. I'm talking about daily me time. Time that you carve out several times a day and you're going to plan and prioritize it, or it can be spontaneous. So it can be planned or it can be spontaneous, but it's prioritized and it's intentional. You set your mind that you're gonna get some me time on a regular daily basis. That's the kind of de-stressing activities I'm talking about. So here's the first rule regarding de-stressing. Make sure it's something that you enjoy. It has to be something you like to do. Or we're kind of defeating the purpose of de-stressing. If you get stressed out, just thinking about that you're going to have to do it. So it has to be something that you like or something that you learn to like. So you may have to try some things you may have not tried it before. But just because you haven't done it before doesn't mean that you might not like it. So at least try the things, but there's lots of different things you can try. So don't let that be a, a, a hindrance to you. But make sure you do choose, end up with things that you do like to do. Okay, also, the thing that I'm going to talk about in terms of de-stressing activities is getting into nature. Now that's a free activity. It's for most people, they can find something about it that they like. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But it has such great benefits beyond what you probably are expecting. Getting into nature, preferably at least in the morning. You can do it several times a day, but morning time is optimal between 6 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Because that's when your body clock resets itself. 
So that's the best time to be out there and get into that sunlight. And it actually helps you sleep better that night. So what you do that morning, getting out early in the morning outside, helps you sleep better at night. So that's a positive point too. Now, what other kind of things can you do when you get out there? So much, so many things you can do. You can do gardening. You can do grounding. Now, grounding is an activity that I personally love. It's going barefoot. You go barefoot and you get out there. You can sit out there barefoot in the grass or whatever. You can stand out there. You can walk out there, but you get actually con connect yourself, contact with nature, with the ground. Mm -hmm. For grounding, it doesn't have to be long. Exercise, any kind of exercise, just take it outdoors. Take it outside. Do it outside, any kind of exercise. And you can even eat a meal. Take your breakfast and find a nice place outside where you can sit and eat your breakfast outdoors or your dinner. Don't really recommend lunch because that's peak sunlight hours, but breakfast is great. Dinner is great in the right season, in the right weather. Yeah, go outside and do that. You can also do your meditation, your prayer, your deep breathing. Take it outside. And of course, walking. You can walk by yourself, you can walk with a buddy, you can walk your dog, just do some walking out there. So those are some things you can do, easy things that you can incorporate into your lifestyle that will bring such great benefits. And there's so many other things you can do. There's a lot of things you do inside your house that you can just take outside to do. If you have a hobby or a craft that you do, you can take it outside and do it outside. If you have kids, you tell them to get outside, you get outside with them and watch them play. If you don't want to play with them, if you don't want to play catch or ball or whatever, you're too tired or whatever, sit there outside and watch them play. There's a lot of things you can do. The, the thing is that to be creative and be intentional, make a point to get out there. Now, I was reading a book a few weeks ago and the guy was talking about that our homes are actually human cages and that hit me I was like "Ooh, he's right we put ourselves in these cages and a lot of times it's for no reason I mean originally I mean you're in the you're in the house to protect yourself from weather conditions and stuff but it could be a beautiful day outside or in the morning when it's a beautiful day in the morning and you don't even get out there or in the evening it's a nice cool peaceful evening out there you don't even get out there because we've become accustomed to staying in our house. It's kind of like, you know, the thing, what they say with the elephant, you train an elephant by um, tying his, um, I think it's his tail. It's either his tail or his foot. I'm not an elephant trainer, but one of those things to a post <laughs> when he's a baby. And as he grows up, he stays attached. It never occurs to him that he could just take his little weight and easily pull that post right out of there and go on his merry way. But he's been trained to stay attached to us. We've been trained to stay inside our houses and it is hurting and affecting our health that you know there is a nature health connection. There's a lot of research out. There's a lot of studies that have been done that tell us point blank. There is a connection between how much time you spend outside and your health. In terms of your longevity, in terms of your happiness, in terms of your the quality of living, your, your health, your diseases, a lot of information out there. And that's a great reason to utilize being outside as one of your strategies for de-stressing. Because actually it does. Let me let you know about plants and sunlight. Okay, we all know about, you know, plants, you know, help us with our food. Plants, you know, um, put oxygen in the air, that kind of thing. But did you know that plants also emit other things besides just the oxygen releasing? It emits other things. And it also releases microorganisms that are there that help our body. Yep, it helps our body. It boosts your immune system. Yeah. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers your inflammation, and it improves aspects in your brain. Plants 
getting out there among greenery. There's studies that's been done with people living in urban environments and green environments, forests or woods or whatever, where there's a lot of nature around. And they look at their health. They look at their longevity. They look at their diseases. And there is a strong correlation between people that spend time in nature and people that don't. And they especially even say like waterfalls and being around rushing water, all those things. It's emitting other things. When God made this earth and made all these things for our for us to live in this earth, he set it all up. So being around all these things is going to would help our, us as human beings. And it does. It, it's helpful for us. Sunlight. Now, you know, you know, we need the sun and sun rays, you know, to help our bodies make vitamin D. And we do need vitamin D. It's very, very, very important. But that's not all that we use sunlight for. In fact, there's so many things benefits that we get from sunlight that I'm probably going to do another video just on sunlight because I don't have enough time to cover all that right here. But I will say that it helps with your inflammation. It also, um, just like sunlight makes you produce, you know, make your vitamin D in your body, it also makes you produce something called nitric acid. And that helps your blood vessels it widens your blood vessels. It helps you with your cardiovascular health. Sunlight, being out there, it reduces your inflammation, as I said. And it also helps your body produce more serotonin, the feel-good hormone. But you know, you know when you go outside and you're out there, you know, in nature for a while and stuff, get away and out there, love it outside. You start feeling so much better. There's a lot of other things that I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go on now. Um, catch it on another video. I probably will do, I will do a video on that. So sunlight is very, very important. Also, and I know a lot of you are concerned about skin cancer. And you know, and yeah, you should be. But you just have to be sun smart. Because you don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water. You're so scared of getting skin cancer that you don't get any sunlight. Because there, some people are putting sunlight as one of the major um, contributors to disease, the lack, avoiding the sun, avoiding sunlight, not the sun, you want to look straight at the sun, but avoiding sunlight as a key factor in a lot of diseases right up there, you know, with a lot of other things. So you want some sunlight, you want to be sun smart. So when your peak hour is 11 to 3, you don't necessarily need to be out there. You don't have extended periods of sunlight between 11 and 3 because, you know, you do increase your risk for sun cancer. And if you have to be out there, then make sure you have on your sunscreen, your SPF 15. Make sure you put on your sunglasses. Make sure you put your hat on. I mean, be sun smart. But you do need to get out there in the sun and the, uh, those other hours and let your body reap the benefits. Okay, so... If you are one of those people, even if you aren't one of those people, if, even if you have your nutrition all together, you like, I, I'm doing it with the nutrition. That's great. But especially if you aren't, please get out in nature. That'll be a great benefit to you. Now, have you guys checked out my Better Brain Masterclass? I have a two-day free online Better Brain Masterclass. Some more classes start up next week. If you're interested in finding out what you need, the things you need to do, it's no magic bullet, but what your brain needs to stay sharp, click on my website, Keep Your Brain Sharp. Find that link, it's right on the front page and see when the days and times are, and hopefully you'll find one that will fit you, and I'll see you in my next class. Because your brain's destiny is in your hands.